Hello and welcome to the first round of three for the Summer Championship of the 2019 Kart Series. Because a lot of the rounds in 2019 were held very early on in the season to try and benefit some of the people who are racing in the main championship, we held a summer series for the first time in 2019 to give everyone some more karting throughout the summer. And there will be the typical winter championship at the end of the season as well. So here for the first round of the season here at Brooklands, we'll go to an endurance race at Filtry Manor next time out. And then the last round of the season, we'll be back here at Brooklands for the finale. But we're looking to start the first race of this mini championship. Away we go. John starts on the random grip pole, but he squeaks his George into the barrier on the outside, which is a little bit harsh, but it's the way it is. You can see most people are just wearing t-shirts and trousers basically for this one because it's a nice sunny day. Most people didn't want to wear their suits. Myself and George did go for that option though. Uh, but on board here with Thomas, he's going side by side myself for a brief second there, but he manages to get past and go back into fourth position there. So not much changing here on the opening stages of this race and as it's uh, as usual six races of six laps so short little races here and the points are, are given in accordance to that so Tom is right up behind George here trying to get the pressure on. I'm trying to look one way than the next behind him. You can see the ultra-wide vision of Tom's GoPro is showing that I'm really pressuring him right up behind him. But if we go to the lead this race, you can see they're already pulling out a bit of a margin. It's my dad chasing down John here for the lead of this race in the first race of this season. So is it going to be a nice win to start off the season for my dad or is John going to take it? It looks like a two-way battle between these two as there's a bit of a gap behind these two now to Tom and myself who are battling over P3. Uh, also in that battle is George as well I should say. He's currently in P3 out of all this. And we've also got Jake in the field as well so that's your six competitors. John, my dad, myself and then you've got Tom, Jake and George. So they're the six competitors today and I think everyone's got a nice chance of victory because the way we've done it is there are six people, six races, everyone gets to start in every position on the grid. It's a nice random draw. But you can see here, as we go around the last couple of corners here, we're starting to get held up by George as I nearly tagged the wall on the outside there. That was a... That could have been quite bad there. I could have really smashed into the wall quite badly, but thankfully I didn't. Thankfully we will go through that all right, and I'll... I'll take that, but that could have ended up a lot worse. Now I'm trying to slide around to get past Tom here. It's not really working out for me. I'm really just stuck up here in fifth, in fifth place, and I just can't really get the overtakes done here. On board with George currently in P3. This would be a nice, solid start to the season for him. I think he'd, not, he'd like to start this season with a podium finish after the momentum built after a strong uh, main season championship. Trying to put the pressure on Tom. A little bit of contact there. Uh, I did say sorry after the race. But yeah, you can't really avoid contact. But here we are on board with John going around the last corner to take the checker flag for the first race of the season. John wins it. Second place goes to my dad. Then this battle over third finishes with George on the podium, which you'll appreciate. That's a nice start there for George. He'll take that. And there we are. There is the results of race one from round one of the 2019 Summer Series. Jake in sixth place down there, but the pace was actually not there. He wasn't that far off, actually, to be fair to him. Especially, you know, he's got to compare himself against someone like George, and he was, you know, about half a second a lap slower. So I think he'll take that going into the next race of the day. So, race two. George starting in pole. Second place is my dad there. I'm sitting in third. The ultra-wide lens on this camera I've got on here today is slightly weird, but nonetheless, we are go. I think my dad made a slight jump start there. It didn't really help him out too much. As we go into the first corner, I'm there. I get a better start overall. And down the inside, up to second position. I'm going to try and put the pressure on George. As John's getting sideways in the background. He started last for this one. He's trying to go around the outside of Jake. But he sort of turned into Jake a little bit there. He, Jake couldn't really do anything about that. The thing is with these carts on the tight and twisty sections, they do wash out wide a little bit when you're trying to do really tight corners. So, yeah, there wasn't really anything Jake could have done there. I understand what John was doing. I don't think it was his fault. I think it was just one of those things. But he should be able to get an overtake on Jake here. As Jake's on a little bit wide. John's slotted the car through perfectly. Got himself up into fifth position there. He'll be looking to gain a few more positions before the end of this one. But on board with myself once again as I'm trying to chase down George here for the race victory after seeing John take the victory in the first race of the day I know that I need to be getting my sights on this race victory myself I can't get past George there however as he gets very sideways 
I'm putting the pressure on though because you can see he started to make a couple of little mistakes here. But yeah, I saw John take that first win of the day. My dad's having another good race in third and I've jinxed it. He's gone half around and Tom's gone through into third place there. I think he got slightly caught out because I got caught out. I got caught out by George breaking quite or breaking there through that corner, which you don't normally do. And then I braked, and then my dad sort of braked in avoidance, and unfortunately for him, he lost a lot of time there and a position. Try to look down the inside, but you can't overtake into this hatch section on this version of the layout, but you can on the exit. And I've gone all the way around the outside there. That's quite opportunistic. You're not allowed to overtake in the entrance, but it's side by side between myself and George as we go down the main straight. I've got to give him room, and it's still side by side, but I've got the overlap, and I'm through into the lead this race. Now, my dad's looking at the inside of Tom. A little bit of contact there. I think he says sorry. Yes, he does. He says sorry, and crashes into the wall on the outside to, uh, I guess, get the position back. Not on purpose, but there we go. It's all going on in this second race of the day. Everyone has, you know, let the steam off, and it's all going in this second race of the day. Action packed. So I'm leading, second place George, third place is Tom, fourth place my dad, and fifth place John, who's caught up to the back of my dad. These guys were one, two in the first race of the season, and they're going to be looking to go for overall honours this year, because more races held at Brooklyn's definitely helps out the heavier drivers. So, around the last corner here, is this to the finish? I think this could be to the finish. Yes it is, there's the checker flag, and it means I win, second place George, third place Tom, Fourth place goes to my dad. Fifth place goes to John. Sixth place to Jake. He was unlucky in that one. He definitely could have got a bit more out of that. But the reverse grids, or the, 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 the random grids, I should say, should help him out at some point. He's had two bad starting positions for the opening two races, which are going to have happen to someone. So hopefully in the, one of the next few, Jake will be looking to get more than last place. Because I said it already. He's got decent pace. And around here, it's hard to overtake. So... Nonetheless, my dad's starting on pole for the third race of the day. Away we go. He gets a sluggish start here, but he's got his head down. He's trying to lead into the first corner, and he's done so. So good stuff there from my dad. It's very easy to lose out, especially if you, as you say you're a slightly heavier driver, especially when you've got people like George and Jake in the field who are just very light and can just rock it off the line. Uh, he's lucky not to, to lose a position there in the start. So good stuff there from my dad. He's led the opening lap. He'll be looking to take over victory here. As we mentioned in the main series championship, he only managed to notch up one victory, which he'll definitely be looking to improve upon through the uh, the winter, sorry, the summer championship and maybe the winter championship as well. And I think John made slight contact there with Jake and George just spun in avoidance there. George just spun halfway around the track, just trying to put the power down a little bit easy, but the marshals and the guys... Uh, uh, Brooklyn's are just so good they're on it straight away and just, yeah I love coming to Brooklyn's it's just such a great little atmosphere at the track and yeah I really really enjoy it uh, here at Brook uh, here at uh, Filchy Manor I've got to say the two places that you sort of get that family atmosphere but to be fair all the tracks we visited in 2019 all of them have their own perks and all of them are really really nice in their own way so I'm just happy that I live in the area of the country where all of the kart tracks are really nice so that's on board myself Try to put the pressure on Tom here to get an overtake done. This will be for second position here. And he's gone a little bit wide. And you can see my dad out in front is starting to pull away in the lead of this one. But he is starting to catch up the lapped traffic. Which of course is George after a spin. Now, are we going to finish this race early enough that my dad doesn't catch George? Because I think my dad does have a slight pace advantage on George. You can see from George's point of view there that only about a corner behind at this point so a lot of time was lost in the spin or trying to avoid the two in front so around the last couple of corners George he's going to be looking to just try and bring this one home but hopefully just doesn't get in the way so we're going to go on board with my dad here this is going to be the last lap of this race actually is he going to be able to hold off He's not going to catch George, I don't think, at this rate. George is quick enough. He's a little bit slower than my dad, but not by enough to not uh, sort of to get in the way of this race result for my dad, which you'll really like because, of course, I said only one race victory this season. He's going to double it. Two races this season. My dad has won. Really good stuff. Solid race throughout. Consistent. Good pace. Nice victory for my dad there, and he'll, uh, he'll love that one. So there we are. There's the race results of race number three. My dad wins over Tom. Third place goes to myself. Fourth place is John. Fifth place, Jake. So that's a good result for him. Uh, finishing just behind John on the road. And then we've got George in P6 after his spin. He'll be looking to redeem himself in the next three races. 
We've also got a sort of special feature at the end of the day as well, which is a time trial, which we'll get onto later. But the lights are out of the way. We go on board my dad, who actually gets a good start here. Jake gets a mediocre start, which uh, kind of helps to hold up George. But George looking to the inside of John. Can't quite do it. Can my dad go all the way around the outside of George? No, he can't quite. About on board with John. A little bit of contact there with Jake. <laughs> Jake's spinning around quite a few of these corners here. Uh, John's not got the rub of the green there. He's uh, got involved in two bits of contact early on. Uh, but he's going to finally get the move done on Jake there. Jake's still getting used to these cards, as we've said. He hasn't really been go-karting here much, so he's still getting used to it. And I really appreciate him coming and trying to uh, sort of learn it all. So, yeah, great stuff from Jake to just get involved. But he's currently sitting in P4. So... Leading this race is myself, if I remember correctly here, because uh, we haven't actually gone on board yet, but on board with Tom. Yeah, you can see I'm just out in front here, but on board with Tom here, he's not letting me escape. You can see he's, he's putting the pressure on, and it's a very, very tricky track to get perfect all of the time. So he's doing a good job here, Tom, in uh, pressuring me and trying to get me into a mistake. So now on board with George as he puts the pressure on Jake himself. They're both sliding around a little bit here at the back of the field. You can see John has slightly gapped him in the bright yellowy green helmet. So around the last couple of corners, George is doing his best to try and get this overtake done because he knows uh, points in the championship battle are very, very important. Actually, I didn't realise my dad is actually at the back of the field still. Sorry, I apologise if I did not realise that. So this battle between Jake and George is actually over fourth place. So John is currently in a podium position. My dad is struggling to get past there. I think he's seeing a lot of sideways movement from the two guards in front. And he's sort of uh, he's struggling to know which way to go here to get past both of them uh, if he can do so. On board with George. He's really wanting to get past Jake here in a hurry. But I don't think it's going to work out here. He's not going to be able to get this one done, is he? Oh, Jake sideways again. Maybe round the outside here. That's been a move I've been able to do in the past around this last sequence of corners, George. Oh, we can see that Jake's tapped the inside barrier. And George is looking to the inside. It's a robust move. But it's a great move there from George. Through the gap. Up into fourth position. That's a really great move there from George. Round of applause there. Very opportunistic. Jake taking the wide line into the corner. As I said, he hasn't really driven his track much. So he's still getting used to where the, the sort of braking zones are. But my dad gets past on the last lap of the race. It's a bit, bit gutting for Jake going fourth. Down to six on the last lap of the race. That would have been his best result of the season so far. But there we are. George crosses the line. He gets uh, fourth place after a very hard-earned uh, finished there where he got up a position but there's the results at the end of that one race number four was won by myself second place was tom third place was john then george my dad and jake but jake will be looking for redemption here as we go into the last two races of the season because he will be starting on pole position for one of these races so he'll be hoping that something's going to work out in his favor but um, if you look at the championship, or we think about the championship right now, it's going to be very close between everyone because it's just been such a, a random order so far, which is kind of what I like about Brooklyn's. It allows everyone to have a chance of a victory. Now, of course, you want there to be rounds within the championship which sort of show outright speed and uh, give the points accordingly. But this one is always just good fun. So Jake starting in second place here. As away we go, we're on board with John here. As he gets a mediocre start, not great. Someone's going to go on the outside there. Not too sure who that was. It possibly could have been George. So, John sees Jake go wide. There's a bit of contact between the two of them. Jake can't disappear. And John's gone wide into the barriers on the outside. And his car has just gone. John's car has just gone. The engine is cut out. And that's going to be a red flag. That's going to be race over with for John for now at least. It's going to be a red flag. So it's going to give an opportunity to get back into the race here. But yeah, that's going to be a restart here. Luckily, John's cart was available to be fixed. Good job from the guys at Brooklands. And the race five was about to restart. So there we are. Flag is dropped. Away we go. Good start there from my dad. He can't quite beat George off the line in the second phase of the start which you really need to wait um, oh bit of contact between the two of them there is it side by side my dad can't quite get past I think I'm trying to go all the way around the outside and I make it stick finally I risked it around the outside there because it wasn't normally an overtaking opportunity but I've uh, got it done there my dad's lost positions there and um, being squeezed into the wall I've made contact to the inside wall there so I'm trying to close down to George on board with myself now just need to get past George as quickly as possible there. He's left a gap to the inside. 
Uh, I've squeezed down the inside there. He's tried to close the door, but it's too late. I was already there. And there we are, up into fourth position. Now, John is getting stuck up behind Jake, who is getting very sideways. He's getting very leery. Maybe he's just trying to push the limits a little bit far in these uh, last couple of races here. And it's side by side between the two of them into the first corner. Who's going to be the last person to back out? It's John. He keeps his uh, position. I get past as well, and there's a bit of contact between myself and John. John obviously was compromised into the corner, and now he's sort of pushed me wide into the wall on the outside. Close racing between the two of us here. I apologise for the contact uh, with John there because I was just I wasn't expecting him to be slow mid corner, but of course he was compromised with the uh, the way he came to the corner with Jake. So I'm putting the pressure on John here. I want to let him know I'm there. I'm going to have to do something different, try and go around the outside, but it's just not a good move around the outside there, unless it's the first lap of the race, obviously. Uh, but it's not a good move around the outside there, it just doesn't work out. So now on board my dad here, he's trying to get past Jake because George has done so already, and my dad's going to look to the inside line here. Oh, it's closing, it's closing the gap. I oh, know, unfortunately, it's a spin there for Jake. Well, I, I think that was a bit of a racing incident. Maybe my dad will look at that and upon reflection, I think maybe he shouldn't have gone for it. I'm not too sure. But uh, on board with Tom here, you can see that the incident was cleared very quickly as both of them get underway. But he will be able to see them just in front. So that will be a worry for Tom here as we go on to the la uh, latter stages of this lap. He's catching up to two carts, which are back markers here. So he's going to hope that my dad doesn't slow up too much. But yeah, the incident between my dad and Jake, just very unfortunate really. Um, I think Jake probably didn't realise my dad was there. Sort of came across him a little bit. My dad maybe could have backed out. I don't know, whatever it is. There's the checker flags. It Tom's very lucky with the uh, with the with the guys being lapped, and there we are. Good stuff, and a little bit of post race nudging there. Thumbs up from John. Good race, and I let him through there because obviously he needs to go ahead to the, the holding area for the grid for the next race. But yeah, good race from there, John. He did a really really good job, I think, at holding me off. I did just keep putting him under a lot of pressure there to try and get second position. You know, a little little nudge here and there from behind, but we're in a straight line just to say, you know, I'm going to overtake if uh, there's an opportunity, but there unfortunately wasn't. But Tom, the outright winner in that one, great pace, uh, just stayed out of trouble and a fantastic job. Obviously, very unlucky for Jake there to get half spun or get involved with that little. Just misunderstanding. It wasn't really anything malicious on either side. It was just a misunderstanding. So now on board of myself here, starting in fifth place for the last race of the day. The flag is going to drop. Jake is starting on pole position. Now I'm going to try and get past my dad into turn one. It's going to be side by side. I've got a good enough of a start to to get past. Now on board with John. He's going to look to try and get past George, is he? Well, he's done it. There was a little bit of contact there, but I suppose you can excuse that on the first lap of the race here. Now, John makes contact uh, with Jake once again. So now on board with Tom. As we go around the last couple of corners, he's trying to put George under pressure to get past him. Uh, close in these late stages of this race, but it looks like Tom's going to be able to try and go for a position here on George. At the front, Jake's still leading. John's in second. I'm putting the pressure on him. Jake makes a slight mistake, goes sideways, John gets involved with it, and I sneak through the gap and go in to second position. Now, I see Jake in the lead of this race, I didn't want to do anything silly here, because of course I knew that he got spun out in the previous race, I just didn't want to go crazy, so I wasn't being 100% aggression at this point here. I was just trying to get to the end of this race and pick up solid championship points, because I felt like I was in a good position. I didn't want to be getting involved with an accident with Jake. John goes through, wins the race, takes an inevitable championship lead. So I was just being sensible in this occasion here and trying to just hold um, my position unless anything obvious happened. So, you know, back of my mind, championship always coming into consideration here. <clears throat> but Jake does make a mistake. Look one way than the next to try and get past him. J John makes slight contact with me there. You know, a little, little weave into the middle of the track. So, John, I do realise what you did there. Even though I know it wasn't malicious there from John. I know he wasn't doing that on purpose. But, you know, I just thought I'd let him know. You know, I realised what he was trying to do there. No, I was joking. I know he wasn't trying to take me out or anything. But, you know, just a little thing there to show. You know, I know what you're doing. Um, but on board with George. And on board with myself here. You can see I've, I'm looking behind. I'm sort of realising that I'm in a good position right now. I know Jake probably isn't going to be a championship contender with his results here today. So... 
just trying to be smart in this occasion here. I know we've got the time trial coming up in a few minutes, so I could get some more points there as well. So right now, just wanted to uh, to bring it home. But trying to go around the outside, then the inside, you know, there's the opportunity to overtake. It's clear and obvious. I'll go for it. Oh, there's mistakes behind as my dad goes past. Tom, he just about does it before the hatched area corner again to position and puts himself up into fifth place there. So a good overtake and one that's even more important because it was the last lap of the race. Jake wins his first race in the go-kart championship. Very happy for him. I came home second. Third place was John. Fourth place was George. Fifth place was my dad there with that good overtake right at the end. Right when it mattered to get it done. He did it on Tom. And yeah, he'll be very happy with that extra point or two he gets in the championship. And yeah, so we'll be looking at the championship standings after this uh, in a minute. But we first got a time trial. So we all had a go in the fast car. There's only one fast car, Brooklands. And we all had a go for a couple of laps. It's a nice little time trial. It was very different, much quicker than the other carts you see and you'll, you'll, you'll basically see how much quicker it is it's like the normal cart on 1.25 times speed it's just quicker everywhere meaning you have to break into certain corners which you wouldn't have to break in so you know we all just had a couple of laps i was given a few laps before this just to warm up the cart uh, with another session they mixed in another session with us so i was just given a bit of time to warm up the cart in fairness, probably should have given it to somebody else to warm up because I don't really need to be doing extra laps around here. I should have just given someone else the opportunity. But also in the back of your mind, you're thinking the cart's only going to get better over time as it gets warmer. Uh, the, the second, third, fourth drivers are all going to have better carts, technically, than me because uh, they're going to have the cart all in perfect order. But then it was at the same time I had more experience in it, so I think it maybe was a little bit unfair. But nonetheless, I, you know, I got a couple of laps there couple of timed runs in the other mixed session as well which came up with these hot lap results which gives us basically more points so I won that one John was second third place was my dad fourth place was Tom um, fifth place was George and sixth place was Jake but it was all very close if I remember correctly it was only about 1.5 seconds between all of us so you know really good stuff and uh, I think it's time now to look at the championship standings so here are the standings. I'm on 43 points. John's on 38. Tom C's on 36. My dad's on 32. George on 29. Jake on 26. So close there. I mean, 17 points separating everyone after the first round. That is really, really nice to see. And if you're wondering what the point systems are for this race, you can go and look on the Go Kart Championship website, which is in the link in the description but also i'll read it out to you and um, so the winner of each round gets eight points second is six then five for third four for fourth three for fifth and sixth so there's not actually any difference finishing in fifth and sixth in terms of points but obviously it looks better on the record and then seventh and eighth we both get two points and ninth and tenth we'll get one point just because of the way it is there were so little points to work with you had to double up on some of them but nonetheless that's how the point standings looked after the First round of the championship. Next one is an endurance race coming up shortly. You'll see on the channel. That was a really good race. And I'm looking forward to sharing that one with you. Thanks for watching. That's it. Thank you for watching. It's Blacks. I'm out of here. Goodbye.